Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes is with ya, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Place channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to make custom events. Um, so we're gonna go straight into this. Now, if you are new to the channel and you haven't been watching, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Um, but if you are been watching and you have the kit and everything, this should be a simple tutorial and going into it. All the links are in the description, so going right into that, you guys, you should be in your game and everything should be loaded in and made. Um, join the Discord if you haven't as, as well, because we do help out people there and I answer questions all the time, as well as like just all the links and updates of kits and everything. So uh, the last video, if I posted this right before um, or after, the last video we talked about, we made the shops. Um, just made them look a little better and stuff. Not Nothing too crazy. But yeah, going into that, um, we're going to be talking about events. So we actually made an event, I think, last time about like just a bit ago about rain, but we didn't actually do anything. But um, what I want you guys to do is kind of just open up your, your Explorer. If you haven't had that, go to View tab, open up Explorer and Properties. Also, always have Output open. You guys are having a lot of issues. If you're having issues, you have to open Output. This is Output right here, and it's going to show you all the bugs. I might make a video talking about Output and just going into how to like solve bugs. Um, but yeah, so we have tools, things, all this kind of stuff, events, all that stuff. We don't need to worry about that. Configuration is all in here. This is what we need to worry about um and then we have events um we don't need to worry about that yet as well actually but um events right here we need to worry about and then um we have things uh so we have things we don't really need to worry about that either actually so events is the biggest thing um and then you actually will go to here and things as you can tell and we have all of the stuff right here okay so going into this i actually have a folder called rain and i didn't make it because uh i wanted to make it now <laughs> um but I'm going to talk about kind of some of the things with this. So we're going to, we could do anything. It doesn't have to be rain. We could do like fog. Like honestly, if we wanted to, we could do like a simple one called fog. Um, and we could go into that actually. So biggest thing uh, when it comes to making your things, your modules, all this kind of stuff, you just want to duplicate it. So like I'm going to call this and I'm just going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it fog. Okay. Now you don't have to. Uh, have all of everything inside of each thing but i think what he how he made it is so you basically should because there's a chance that it, some one of these will spawn but yeah so we're gonna call it fog i think fog might be the easiest one or whatever for now but inside of the events module okay this is where all the events happen now there's a chance there's all these chances so there's a 50 percent chance out of 100 and i'm pretty sure he mentioned that you need to see and make sure that um they need to add up to a hundred if I was right. So I don't know. We'll we'll double check maybe when we do it, but we'll call it fog. Okay. Um, and then let's just say there's a 10% or 20% chance um for now. Um it might just spawn randomly, but yeah, time one minute long, cooldown a minute long. So you want to make these based on seconds. They're based on seconds. So if you want to make it so it's like it lasts even like 30 seconds, or you want to make it last even longer than a minute, just add to that value. Um cooldown though, I would always make it go up so it doesn't happening so fast but this is how it works so right here this is what's going to handle all of the scripts um so you basically could do anything you want inside of this you could make a whole module thing or um you know literally literally anything but i think since we're doing something simple and then of course i'm going to go into making it even more difficult um we can do a few things okay so we could go fog for example we could go lighting dot um atmosphere uh, you can just do yeah equals and then we're just gonna set this in a second here atmosphere we'll go oh, sorry we're gonna go dot density and then um, we're actually gonna do another one we're gonna go lighting dot atmosphere dot uh, offset and then we'll figure that out in a second here so stop is just what these default values are so we'll go and we'll put density as uh, 0.3 we'll set offset to 0.25 um, and then whatever we want to make it right now. So this is where I'll go and see. So 0.539 and then offset we could do like like that. So um no I kind of like this one. It's like even more foggier. Okay so now we'll go back we'll set offset. Okay so offset we'll just keep the same. Or we can even go 0.30 just for fun. 
density will go 0.55 okay but you want to make sure these are set back to normal so 0.3 and then we'll go 0.25 okay so basically what's going to happen is it will literally just spawn fog just like how it was just a second ago and we have that going now that's just a simple like lighting kind of thing that's not like too crazy um if you want to like really go in depth with like i don't i'm just trying to like come up with an example of like what you could do I mean, okay, so like sky, maybe you want to change the sky, right? So um, this is where it gets a little different because there's so many asset IDs with this, but um, you could technically what you could do. So we could also like, if we wanted to, we could go um, and do a different thing. So call this sky. So we could like make something in server storage. Maybe if you guys wanted to like, like this and we could call it events or no wait this there's already is events in here wait hold on let me double check events added things okay we can go events and we could go we could go fx okay so if you were to go and you were gonna do uh local server storage equals game and then we're gonna do get service server storage and then we could do local events folder equals server storage child um, events and we could just do local fx Oh wait, actually, we just go local events. We'll call this events. Sorry, local effects equals server uh, events dot fx. Okay, and going into there, so let's just say we did this. We could go and set this. This is sky, so we'll always call it sky. We'll put in fx, right? Um, if we want to do a different sky, so we could do like I don't know, like we could do like a hell sky or something. Um, like it, it really depends what you want to do. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like if you want to do some like crazy event. Okay, so perfect. There's this one. Um, I don't remember if you could just name them differently. Like, yeah, you can. Okay, so we'll go and put this in Hell's Sky. Okay, so, or we could call it the Demon Event. So we could call it Demon. Like, let's go that. We'll call it Demon Event. So if we wanted to, go down here, make another one, right? And we could call it uh, Demon. And there's a 10% chance of this happening, one minute long, and then a cooldown. Um, and then this is where we do it a little different, but. Um, maybe we want to touch it up even a bit more. So um, we could go we could close this out. And then, guys, make sure we go to the things. We'll just duplicate fog and we'll call it demon, okay? And then going into that. So now we have demon event. We're good. Um, going into that, uh, we could just go and be like, okay, so this is where it gets a little different. So we'll go um, start event. So we'll go uh, if light we'll go local sky equals lighting let's go wait for child uh no no, no. we'll go uh anyway i got a good idea one second let me go through this real quickly okay so actually i was just gonna loop through and kind of show you guys like how how uh how you could do this but i'm gonna just show you guys how we could ask ai um, I think this is a good way to do this because some of you guys may not know how to program uh, correctly and like in a good way or a fast way. And I use AI on a daily basis, guys. So don't get me wrong. I, you know, I have to use it for my programming as well. And it's good to just double check things. But so I want you guys to open up ChatGPT. We're just going to do this with AI. We're going to look at this real quick. So what I'm going to prompt it real quick is you're going to just copy and paste all of this. We have it all set up, right? Um, and guys, I'm going to put this all in the description, like I said, but it's all going to be set up and we're gonna do a few things okay so we're gonna be like okay here is my script you can say lua if you want it knows already um we have an event module that handles events so with the start slash stop functions help me create this event i have a daemon sky texture i want to replace in lighting of the and then we'll just say original sky so how can i using the photo provided so i'll show you guys so we're gonna go like this we're gonna be like we're gonna take a picture of this we're gonna go um and then we'll go back to this provided uh replace the old sky box with the demon sky box and then we can go we can say inside fx folder during this event so start let's say and then after stop replace it with the 
Uh, let's say original sky texture we have. Then you just say help. <laughs> so when it comes to that. AI is very nice, guys. It's, it's a great way and tool. So it's going to think. Um, now, if you don't have ChatGPT, ask anything. There's Claude AI. There's Gemini AI. There's so many AIs out there, and I bet they would all figure out the same exact answer. Um, they, they all approach it a little different, but whatever works. And guys, why I'm saying AI is great is because, like I said, you might want to make something different. You might want to do fireworks. You might want to do, like, crazy things. You can do that. It's super easy to do. Um, so, okay. So, I mean, this works, too. Okay, I guess we're gonna make another little function. You know what? Let's do it. So we're gonna we're just gonna follow what they did. We're gonna do it because you know what? It's right. Sometimes it's, it just works. Um. So. Okay. So it's it's saying actually we could do wait for child events and then we could do wait for child uh FX. Okay, we'll go like that and we'll call this FX. Okay. So state. Um. And then this is using a local function. Restore original sky. Blah blah blah. Okay. So. Just like that, we already have um, a big script, okay? Restore, setting sky from FX, grabbing the original one, destroying it, blah, blah, blah. And guys, the, it's exactly what I was trying to tell you. I really, really, really advise that you guys look into this kind of stuff because it really does help. It, it, it just, it makes it so much easier and it's so efficient. Um, so, and some people may disagree, you know, um, but you know what? That's just my opinion. Oh, I'm going to pull down these two because, yeah, I think this is probably better just too crowded all right so see see how like it actually is like okay so these are mood tweaks as well so um actually going with the mood tweaks which i'm going to talk about we're actually going to do that because i want to make it look a little different so um for the lighting just in here in amb ambient so we'll go like we can do lighting dot um ambient equals color three dot new and then we'll go uh 2500 or wait is that how you type it in uh, oh, I know. Oops. Uh, zero. Sorry, guys. Um, and then, so yeah, this is start, right? Yeah, so we can do ambient. I think it's ambient.color. No, I don't remember. I think it's just ambient. You can just do that. Um, ambient. 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 So 70, 70, 70, because we're going to set it back to the original after the stop. Um, that should be right. So I'll just go like this. I forgot if you had to do the color three, but we'll just double check it. So it will, it will show you, but, um, okay. Let's just see. All right. This is where we test. This is all about testing and, you know, seeing what works, what doesn't work. Um, now you're probably like, okay, how can we spawn it? I think we can just do actually slash event, uh, demon, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we started it. Um, we do not want to do the ambient. That is definitely not good. Um, that just looks horrible. Um, and it doesn't really like tell you correctly. So I will go slash event. Okay, so there you go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's rainbow. Let's go event fog. Oh my god. That is not right. Hold on. What's going on here? Let's get rid of the ambiance for now. Uh that just made it look horrible. Um, we're gonna switch it around actually. So we're gonna go chance. We're gonna make the nighttime 10%. We're gonna make the fog uh another 10 and we're going to make the demon 80%. I think that's how you do it if I'm right. So 80, 90, 100. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. So we'll just double check that guys. Um, okay. So there's an 80% chance the demon's going to spawn. So let's just see. Let me pause the video and just see if it spawns. But um, yeah, so AI kind of gave me that. This only works. We're just going to need change studio. If you want to switch uh, or you can have change studio. Yeah. This we'll guy's default. Okay. Um, but yeah, we have a Robux shop right here too. So it's so nice. Um, okay, well, let's just, let me pause the video and just see if it just will spawn normally, because I, I don't want it to, it might, it might, it might, it might not, it, sh it should spawn normally, so let me just pause this real quick. Weird, okay, so a fog event just spawned, but I didn't get any notifications for it. Um, I forgot if I have to type a thing in that says that it came in, but as you can guys tell, so look, if you go to lighting, it just, yeah, see, it just changed it, so a fog did just happen. I'm also not even seeing anything in a text box. So let me just double check and make sure I'm not missing something. I don't know why I wouldn't have done that, but, but it's, it is working. So as you could tell, you know, we have an event going on right now. It's going to spawn it. This is fog. Um, I just don't want to spawn it with another command. Cause I don't know if it gets rid of it or not, but we'll see. So 
It should stop in a, a, another minute here. Okay, yeah, so it just stopped and it's back to normal. So now I gotta wait another minute and just see if the other one stops. But it should be going into the chat box. So um, I wonder what might not be working on. I will double check real quick. Boom, okay, so demon event has spawned. Um, there you go, so now it's the demon skybox. Um, so yeah, okay, so as you can tell, it works. The events work, we have different events. And I hope this kind of helps you explain like how you can do this. Um, so you already have all these lighting things in here. So go click them, go look at the properties and you can even just ask ChatGPT, and we'll show you things you can do. If you click lighting though, it also talks about these other colors. So how I was setting this ambient color, you can do the exact same thing. Now I'm a little curious why it wasn't showing me the, um, yeah, like chat announcements, like it should show you the even events um thing so i don't know fog demon no these are right um i'm curious as to why i would do that but i mean let me just double check real quick oh yeah i th think yeah, we'll double check go to events mutations uh oh that's what it was okay so i forgot you actually have to go into mutations as well so rarities we have rarities we have rebirths um and server luck tools things okay so inside rarities i forgot about this oh no sorry mutations mutations <laughs> you have to set a uh, event so this is actually fog so we'd call this fog um and like i said we go and make it like gray or whatever and then demon go down here and we go demon okay so once we go demon set the events to true the chance um so I think it's the same thing. It does have to add up to 100, but I mean, we can just go like a five for now, uh, fog. Well, actually, we'll just keep it 10 just in case because I want it. Multiplier times three, and then demon, of course, we're gonna go like red or whatever. Um, okay, so that should that should fix it. So um, go ahead, click play again. That should cause it to send to the chat as well. Um, so that was part of the issue um and then yeah that should that should probably fix that issue <laughs> um so i'll just let me pause this one more time okay yeah so i'm curious why it's not putting the thing on but either way uh you kind of get the point so you have the mutations and there's a certain percent of chances that it spawns um so definitely just have that and then as well as um just looking at, at the vents module and just changing them based off of how that works so yeah that should uh, that should work. Um, is this? Yeah. Am I tripping? Does that say demon? Yeah, it does. Okay, there's demon right there. All right, so you have the demon mutation. Um, I thought it wasn't working for a second. I was like, oh, no way. Um, but yeah, so demon mutation right here. And um, it's, it's added. Oh, and this is that one guy that I added those glasses to. I forgot about him. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, it spawned it. That works great. Um, all right, you guys. That's just it for the tutorial. I hope this helps you guys out with mutations and going with the events um so we'll talk more about it later of course but yeah I, I don't know if secret was like a rarity or it's an event i don't know i don't really know about that i kind of forgot with brain rot but i made it both a rarity and a, a mutation so or well no no i didn't but um yeah so if i'm gonna go and make a video on how to make secret mutations like the the custom mutations and like how they look different so we'll go into that in a bit but yeah, you guys, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.